That's the jam of the I fucking decade. I love how decade. we kick in with that. It really is. That's the jam of the decade. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, when you asked me, you know, I jam of the century. I, you go, what do I got to come out with? I said, and it was like instant. I didn't have to. There was no thought. Yeah, I've done a when lot the of levy shows with fucking that. breaks. That's it. Yeah, I do love it. I do love it. Great to have you on the show. You Great. look it's been fucking a beautiful. Thank you. Congratulations on A Star is Born. Now, here's the fucking crazy thing a lot of people don't know. I know this because we had Nick Malanga sitting there. Oh, okay. You were also going to do the guest book. So anyway, oh, the green book. book. The green book. Yeah. Guest book, the green book. Any way you call it, you were going to either be in one Academy Award nominated film or fucking two of them. Well, you know what? Honestly, I was really happy for Nick. Because, you know, just like us, the guy struggled and struggled. And um, I knew all about the movie and what the movie was about, about his dad. And, like, he couldn't even believe, like, when it was going to get made. You know what I mean? Like, when, when there was a deal falling into place. And then all of a sudden, Spielberg signed on. You know, at the, um, what's it called? Uh, Amblin? His right, company, right, yeah, yeah. you know. And Nick's coming to me going... You know, uh, Spielberg's now producing this. Like, I was just thrilled for him. Because this is a guy just like us, you know, did whatever he had to do to pay his rent, you know. And, you know, now he's he's the winner, not just the best picture, the best screenplay, and he's just cooking now. As a matter of fact, he was talking about you because you both did the uh, Sopranos prequel. Yes, yes. How was that? Great. He was great. He's like the greatest guy, right? He's a sweetheart of a man. You know. Just a sweetheart. I remember he, I, I, I shot a film with him in 2012. Oh, okay. So you know and him for a while. that's how we met. And he was explaining his, the story to me about his father, blah, blah, blah. Until this day, I've always said it. Any mob movie I've ever seen, his father's got the best line in any movie. Opening of the Pope of Greenwich Village. Mickey Rourke walks into the restaurant, and the maitre d' says to him, or the, the waiter goes, the guy wants to talk to you in the back. That's how the movie opens. Uh -huh. It's still rolling. He goes into the bathroom, and there's a guy shaking his dick, rips a paper off the thing. And he goes, oh, how come nobody keeps me waiting when they're looking to borrow? <laughs> that, it fucking just, just threw me off. Yeah, because well, that's true. like our movie. Yeah, you know? when somebody wants to borrow money, they're there 10 minutes before. Like, no, but me, the Pope is like a Bible to us. You know Bible, I mean? Bible. You know, it's like, just first one time of those I saw films. I lost my fucking mind. But it's... Uh, now talking to you about the film. Do me a favor, don't cook. Mickey's first line. <laughs> Do me a favor, don't cook. Charlie, I'm coming, I'm coming, Charlie. When he says to him, after they cut his thumb off, and he's in the room with the punching bag. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. And, and I haven't done this in a long time. And he's <clears> all <throat> stoned out from taking all the pills, because Mickey's going, how many of those? I don't know, I took them all, oh, I don't fucking know. And then he's like hitting the, 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 there's a heavy bag. And Mickey's telling him how his girlfriend dumped him, you know. And, and Eric Roberts' character is like, what's his name again in the movie? Eric Ch Roberts. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie and Paulie. He's Charlie, Paulie. Paulie, Paulie. There you go. Sometimes you got to smack him, you know. <laughs> you got to say, you put your coat on and you don't say goodnight to nobody. And that's just to humble him a little. You know, and then he passes out from the <laughs> thumb, you know. And I mean, you don't smack him to knock him out. You just, what does he say? He no, he goes, play. sometimes you got to smack him. No, no, he, you smack him and say, you put, you, it's not about knocking him out. It's you just, put your clothes you got to smack your him. You put your jacket on and you don't you, say goodnight to yeah, nobody. Yeah, you put <laughs> your coat on and you don't say goodnight to nobody. And that's just to humble him. You don't, just hit like in the, you don't hit him like you're in the old country, but you <laughs> give him a little whack. He says something like that. Yeah, well, I don't have yeah. the exact script no, in I, front of me. I'm sorry. I haven't thought of it. You know. 35 years ago, that movie came out. Wow. So nobody's got the right script in front of him. Yeah. It's 35 <laughs> fucking years ago. You've shown me the clip of that, and I, I have, it seems pretty close. I have been waiting for the sequel to that. There's, like for there's years. no sequel. They had it, and it's so funny because the guy that was like a PA on that movie was the producer on Spider Man 2. Did, what, you know, and did, I went up to him and shook his hand. He's like, How did you even see that? <laughs> did you know who the original cast was supposed to be for Pope? No. It was supposed to be Pacino and James Caan. 
That's what, who was going to do that movie. And what happened? They fell out, and Mickey and, and uh, Eric Roberts did it. And that's the only way I could ever see that movie now. Like, even when I think of how great Pacino and James Caan, I'm sure they would have done it. But you just see the scene. Like, we're doing the scenes from the movie. There's so many great yeah. lines in that movie when they're at the fucking horse stable. <laughs> and they're milking the whole, whatever the fuck they're doing, the foot. <laughs> the foot and he goes, uh, it's like your mother's mozzarella. Not for nothing. But I went to your mother's store last week. Oh, it's a tough mozzarella. Yeah. And the guy gets insulted. And he gets nuts. He gets it. The cacuzzos have never made a yeah, bad piece of mozzarella. Yeah, because that's <laughs> real Italian. Not for nothing, but your mother's mozzarella is a kind of tough. It was kind of tough. I like. used to do all that on stage, oh all God. the impressions. He cut his thumb off with a knife, Frankie Vincent. Jesus. Uh-huh. I love Frank. I got Frank to work Frank. with Frank Vincent. No, I got Frank to work Vincent with Mickey. 1984, you, you sit there and you go, what the fuck happened all these years? That was a good fucking year for movies. No, but he, he uh, Frank did a, a ton of movies. Frank was amazing. Amazing. You know, you, you know his, he was supposed to be, um, Scorsese was looking at him for when they were doing The Raging Bull, okay? And so they were looking at a film, like a, a B movie with Frank Vincent. And in the background was Pesci, you know, like doing something on stage because him and Frank were partners, like a comedy team. And, and, and Scorsese was like, who's that guy? And they both obviously wound up in the movie, but it made Pesci's career. Because he wasn't even being thought of at the time, from what I know, from the stories I've been told. So they both wound up becoming these big time actors. He put him in everything, Frankie Vincent, except I think Mean Streets. Yeah, is Frankie Vincent? In no, Mean no. Street? This is all. This is all post. Post Mean all Streets. Right. You know, this was once it became like Raging Bull time. Now, uh, or was it? Or was it good film? Whichever one came first. Raging I think Bull. Raging Bull came first. 80, okay. 81, 80. Okay, and then Goodfellas. And then he was like a restaurant waiter or something. Joe Pesci, a manager at a restaurant. And him and Frankie was a drummer. Yeah. Frankie Vincent was a drummer or something, and they were like in some... We had you, like a little drum battle. Yeah, him. you crack a joke and I hit the cymbal. Yeah. Boom, psh, that well, they were shit. a team. They, they were, were a team. team. Yeah, that's what I had heard. But we did, we did this movie that never came out, me and Frank Vincent. We did Linux an Extapa, Mexico. <coughs> It was called The Good Life. It was this crazy thing that we went through in Mexico for like two months. We're going in like fucking Marines, you understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.